Hello everybody, it's Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today for a new tutorial. And today I'm gonna to be featuring the Picket Fence Foil Impressions, Hot Foil Stamps and Coordinating Dies. This gorgeous new line of foil impression stamps and dies are so beautiful and help you create some amazing foiled impressions with a hot foil machine. So here's the selection of the foiled impressions sets that I have from Pick a Fence. It comes with the hot foil stamps and coordinating dies to cut out either the sentiments or the images that you have in your sets. For my first example, I'm going to be using this beautiful peony. This is the hot foil stamp and I'm going to use also the coordinating die to cut it out. To use this product, you will need a hot foil machine. I'm using the Gemini foil press, but you could also use the Couture Creations Go Press and Foil machine. I'm starting up the foil press and getting it set to heat up the hot foil stamp so everything will be nice and warm and ready for me to be able to start foiling with. I'll go over the machine in a minute. Once the machine has been fully heated up and the hot foil stamp is ready to be transferred into a die cutting machine with the platform, I'm going to take the foil and lay it face down onto the hot foil stamp and then my cardstock and the top plate. Then I'll disengage it from the machine and run it through my die cutting machine. In this case, I'm using the Gemini Junior. When you're done, you end up with this beautiful foiled transfer design onto your cardstock, and it also has a little bit of a debossed effect, almost like letterpress, which is so much fun and really gives this foiling a very elegant look. Now, like I said, there are coordinating dies to cut out these foil impressioned images from Picket Fence, and I did use that to cut out this gorgeous peony. This peony is so stunning with this rose gold foil on top of the red cardstock. And you can even see on this side example, the debossing that happens when you use that hot foil stamp, the way it impresses into the cardstock. You could also use this without foil and no heat and simply run it through almost like a embossing folder to get a really beautiful embossed impression on your cardstock. You could even use ink for a true letterpress effect. I finished off this card by using some Kopec markers to add a little bit of shading to the peony. Then I also brought in a Simon Says Stamp Leaf Cluster die, cut that out from some green cardstock and also colored that with Kopec markers. Add a little bit of splatter and Nouveau drops to the background of the white panel and finished off the card with an I Love You sentiment also foiled with the Picket Fence Foiled Impressions Hot Foil Stamps and Dies and I used the ro same rose gold foil on the white cardstock, which really sets off this rose beautifully. I also did another example using the Thank You Hot Foil Stamp from Picket Fence. Now, like I said earlier, I'm using the Gemini Foil Press Machine. The Gemini Foil Press, you wanna go ahead and use the lowest setting when you're doing something with paper crafting like this. I usually like to let mine heat up for about 30 to 45 seconds just to let it get really good and hot. And you wanna make sure that the light is green next to the temperature gauge of your foil machine. Once this is ready, you can add your foil and your paper on top of that hot foil stamp, add the platform back on top, and then disengage it from the machine and run it through your Gemini Junior. I recommend using the Gemini foil press with the Gemini Junior. And if you have other die cutting machines, I definitely would encourage you to check out the Couture Creations Go Press and Foil machine, as that one is compatible with almost any other die cutting machine. But again, you can see that the beautiful results you get with these gorgeous picket fence foiled impressions dies, the combination of the foiling and the letter press effect simply is stunning. And I just love how this finished off with some stamps that I used from Altenu, stamped with Distress Oxide inks, and I added a little bit of Nouveau drops around this one as well and some coordinating colors. My hope is that these cards using the Picket Fence Foiled Impressions Hot Foil Stamps have inspired you to create with these too. There's all sorts of other designs that you can get in these Hot Foil Stamps, so I encourage you to check out all of them over at the Simon Says Stamp shop because we have a whole collection of them that you can choose from. 
If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiration. Thanks for joining in. I will be back again with more to share very soon. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye.